Right. Uh, let's look at another question that we asked people on the street. Oh, yeah. And this one, particularly interesting on the flat Earth. Do you believe that the Earth is flat or round? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Man, I've been hearing some weird stuff about that. It's neither. It's wopsided. The Earth is not perfectly round. Uh, it's got bulges all over it. Oh my God, it's round, for Pete's sake. <laughs> <laughs> it's round. It's round. <laughs> it's round. <laughs> it's round. <laughs> it's round, I promise. <laughs> round? It's round. Is the moon rectangle? You know, it's like, come on, man. There is a horizon, and there is, there is a bend that, that we can calculate, and we've had guys flying to space and took pictures of the planet. I mean, oh, and the scriptures in Psalms say the whole round Earth. So they knew about the Earth being round before the Greeks did. Well, we have satellites, and it shows it to be round. Let's see, what the oceans are evidence for one. Um, we've seen the Earth from space. So that's a pretty good indication. But it's not flat because the sun moves around, I guess, and because science told me so. <laughs> see them pictures from space, right? That we sent out from space. Astronauts. Has anybody found this edge of the Earth? That we they're... Have yeah. <laughs> On... Because I have also flown above it and noticed that there's a curvature. Yeah, I don't think any of these flat earthers are serious, to be honest. Or some of them are, but most of them are just fit trolling. Uh, is it flat? Around well, or is it, it a sphere? Well, it's a sphere to within 0.3 percent. So okay. it's a perfect sphere compared to the diameter, all the bulges and the irregularities. It's it's a perfect sphere to within 0.3 percent. Okay, it's so very that's spherical. Very very spherical. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson would say it's an oblate spheroid, but it's nearly spherical. Well, even Neil deGrasse Tyson said you can call it perfectly spherical because right. the oblateness is only 0.3 percent, and that's the biggest deviation from sphericity is the oblateness because of its rotation. Okay. Okay. Um, but the point is. The roundness of the earth was so obvious to the medieval church that when Thomas Aquinas wrote his magnum opus, Summa Theologiae, mm -hmm. uh, he was talking about different types of proving things and he used something obvious to everyone, that the earth is round. Wow. He didn't have to explain it. He assumed everyone would know it. I think that the medieval students would do a better job than most of those guys on the street in telling you why it was round too. I think most people today know it's round, but they don't really know why. They couldn't tell you. They would have a trouble arguing with a, with a flat earther, I think. 10 seconds, bottom line. Well, the bottom line is that the Earth is definitely is a sphere. The early church has always known it's a sphere, a sphere. The Bible doesn't contradict that. And I think the flat Earth movement is, is just really ridiculous, to be honest. And the Bible has stood the test of time. Absolutely. Every has. time. Absolutely. Thank you, Dr. Sarfati, for Thank being you. here.